polar coordinate system converting equations. So we're going to convert between rectangular equations to polar equations. Now we will still be using the same formulas that x is r cosine theta, that y is r sine theta, that we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and that tangent of theta equals y over x. So let's start with going from rectangular to polar. Now in this case, what you want to do is to either solve for r, r squared, or theta, whichever one's the most convenient, to be honest. So for example, if I have y equals negative 2x plus 3, then y is r sine theta, so I put that in for y, negative 2x is r cosine theta, so I put that in for x. Now. In this case, I'm going to try to solve for r. So I'm going to move the negative 2 r cosine theta. I'm going to add it to both sides to move it over to the left. So r sine theta plus 2 r cosine theta equals 3. And then factor out the r. So r times sine theta plus 2 cosine theta equals 3. Now we're going to divide both sides by the um, information inside of these parentheses. And what that gives us is that r is equal to 3 divided by sine theta plus 2 cosine theta. Now there are always loads of identities that you can use and stuff. Um, I would stop here. Okay, now let's look at another one. What if we had x equal 4? Okay, this is the second example. Well, x is r cosine theta, so r cosine theta equal 4. Divide through by cosine, so you get 4 over cosine theta. Now, if you wanted to, you could rewrite this as um, 4 secant theta. Both answers are acceptable. Okay, and let's look at what if you had the equation of a circle? x squared plus y squared equals 9. Well, x squared plus y squared is r squared, so you have r squared equal 9. And that's it. You're done with that one. And then finally, what if we had y equals 6? Okay. Well, y is r sine theta. And so, once again, you solve for r, you get r equals 6 over sine theta, and once again, that would be 6 cosecant of theta if you wish to change it to that. Now, the other direction, equation conversion from polar to rectangular. This is, can be a little bit more difficult to deal with. So, for example, if we had r equals sine theta plus cosine theta, now, our formula for r is r squared, so if we multiply both sides by r, it's going to solve a whole bunch of problems here. Okay, so multiply each term by r. Well, r squared is x squared plus y squared. r sine theta is y. r cosine theta is x. And it's kind of up to your instructor how far you go at this point. I would leave this alone, to be perfectly honest. Now, if you're given the equation just simply r equals some number like 16, then I would um, square both sides, to be honest. So I have that nice r squared. So r squared equals 256, and then r squared is x squared plus y squared equal 256. And finally, what if you had theta equals, okay, what if we have theta equals, say, pi over 3? Then you're going to take the tangent of both sides, okay, so tangent of theta equals tangent uh, of pi over 3. Tangent of theta is y over x, and of course tangent of pi over 3 is the square root of 3, 
And then you could leave it like this or you could solve for y. It depends on your instructor's wishes. So y equals x times square root of 3. The end.